So we came to make this film about these remittance men who were these young men who came over from England in around 1910 to farm ostensibly, but they didn't know how, so they messed around and some of them died in the snow. And it was because it was important to us to be here and to, to be with the birds and to be on the prairie and just experience the landscape and to have that be, to be infused with that to make the film. So that's what brought us here. And then uh, we liked it a lot, so we stayed. <laughs> So I'm Wendy Tilby, and uh, I make short animated films. And I'm Amanda Forbes, and I make short animated films with Wendy Tilby. And as for how it got started, we, we had a very similar trajectory in that we both did a couple of years of university and then decided to go to art school. And we th each thought we would go into live action filmmaking. And, uh, and then we quickly discovered that we liked the solitude and the simplicity it's, it's uncomplicated, but really difficult. There's a simplicity to it. It's just whatever you are capable of making, you can do. The editing, everything, it's, it's fantastic. It's, it's very complete and satisfying as an art form. We made our last film, The Flying Sailor, largely through the pandemic. And people always say, what was that like? And I'm saying, pretty much the same, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you, you go nuts if you didn't <laughs> take breaks from it. Well, we moved to Calgary from Montreal 20 years ago. You you draw from everything. Hopefully you, you just have your ears and eyes open all the time to drawing in the next thing because you need little bits of ideas that come from all over the place that will coalesce into something. If you've got a good community with interesting people in it, somebody will say something or somebody will refer you to a, an article or you'll hear a piece of music or you'll go to something together. I mean, in that way, you know, yeah. your, your community is an important kind of nervous system for, to, that helps you discover your next subject. I mean, I, th I think the medium of animation is it's a very interesting one because in some ways it will draw you closer to a subject. So um, in our film, When the Day Breaks, the main character is a pig and, uh, and she's an anthropomorphized pig. And I think because of that, you just immediately say, oh, that's, I, I like her. She's my new friend, this pig. There's something that just opens you up, but at the same time, you are given a little bit of distance. So you can talk about very difficult subject matter and the audience is not as affected in a visceral way as they would be if it were live action. We are always trying to find the way to make the medium as effective as possible for what we're trying to tell. We don't set out to make films about death or dark things necessarily, but it just it's just what we do. We also want them to be funny. So we, we're interested in that combination. We like the tension between darkness and, and humor. Some people might have trouble with that, that they think this is supposed to be sad, but then we made you laugh, and what are we supposed to feel? But I think that's what life is like, and, and uh, we don't have a problem with that. We owe everything to the National Film Board, as and the Canadian yeah. animation industry, I don't know whether everybody in the industry would acknowledge this, but we all owe it to the National Film Board. The problem with animation, the kind that we do, is that it's extremely labor intensive. The, recouping that money as a short is not, it's not very viable. So having a not-for-profit organization like the film board making them is almost uh, necessary to, to advance the art. A city without arts and culture is honestly pretty dull. It's dull. What art is, art is about what it's like to be a living person and you, or a living being and you can have things explained to you and you can have a scientific point of view or a sociological point of view or a psychological point of view but none of that is asking one human to relate to another on an empathic level the way art does to be recognized in in this way is um it's hard to describe why that's so meaningful yeah we've it, never it, i never yeah. would have expected it and I think that in our careers in general, it's the stuff that happens closer to home that is the most meaningful. So this is very meaningful, to be recognized on your home turf. We, we love it. Really do love it. <laughs> yeah. When we made our film Wildlife, which was finished in 2011, I think, 
and it was nominated for an Oscar. The very day that it was nominated, a bunch of friends got together and they quickly organized a little party. They said, show up at the Skate Shack. And we did, and of course they had hung up a sheet, they brought in a projector, and we had a, a screening and a celebration. And it was the most heartwarming screening we ever yeah. had. Of course, it was a crummy screening because it's, you know, the lighting and the, on the sheet that's waving around and it, you know, it wasn't technically a great screening. But, but it was it, the best screening It was ever. the best screening yeah. ever. And it really, in the grand scheme of things, was more relevant to us than any of the parties we went to in Hollywood. I mean, and, I'm, and I am not lying about that. That is absolutely true. Yeah. It, it means so much more. Yeah.